Hi boys and girls, Pop of Life here. Today we're going to be doing the car update video and just tell you what I've actually done to the car. Now a lot of you guys are wanting to know what I've actually done to it and the things and the mods I've done. <clears throat> now we'll start from the exterior and then move into the interior. Um, now I've done quite a fair few stuff. I'm smaller than others but I'll generally just add whatever I've done apart from stock. Now, first thing I've done is, as you can notice, the red JDM Honda badge, the red JDM toe strap, and I've also got a front eBay lip that I got. Um, that was about that was pretty cheap, about two hundred dollars of shipping from the US, and it does give that nice kind of sportier look to what it was before um, alright moving on to the wheels and these are just um, stock EVA 8 end guys um, they originally were on the EVA 8 but I bought them and put them on these they actually really do suit the car and I like them a lot they're 17 by 8 with a 38 offset, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, so yeah, it does give that nice little flush on the fender and on the back there. It does really look good. This back of the revisors, a Honda sticker at the front, um, a nice JDM rear spoiler from the well, the stock style ones from OEM. So it does look like it's OEM, but it isn't. It's actually, I got this from eBay. Um, Mugen sticker. <laughs> um, my exhaust is a 2.2 and a quarter inch um, header back exhaust with a high flow, um, with a high flow uh, cat to a bullet resonator to a muffler like this. Um, does I like it? I love the sound and stuff like that. You also have a the obvious progress sway for rear sway bar, which I've featured in my video, um, and another JDM color badge. Okay, I'll move on to the interior of the car, and we'll see. Yeah. So we're in the car now in my passenger seat and so for interior mods we've got well not really these are not mods in general some of them are just small little things i've done um so we've got honda headrests um that i've ordered they're pretty good i like the look of them um we've got honda seat belt covers too as you can see so these look pretty nice when you have them on. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I've done this little thing on my steering wheel. I put like little red tape there as like a, as a middle indicator, <laughs> like for, like racing wheels and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's really it for the interior. I haven't done that much. Oh yeah, and also I've got a custom shift gear changer that I got the JDM style one. So it's a button you can change your gear like that. Pretty good. I just completely just got this part out, just ignore that. <laughs> Alright, so apart from that, that's pretty much it for the interior. Now, I'll show you the engine mods. Oh yeah, and if you guys are wondering if the car is lowered or not, um, yes it is, it is lowered, it's not on factory uh, ride height. It's on actually sitting on lowered king springs, which actually reduce it by about 30 mm. So it's not that much. It it's not that low at all. It's but it does give you that nice little kind of low kind of look, which is what you want. So it's still you know it's still drivable and stuff like that. But it does lower it a bit, tiny bit, not that much. But use that nice little. So you can still you can still see the little gaps here in the fender between the wheels. So is not that much all right guys so this is the motor aspect of the video 
Um, now with the actual engine itself, it's not been modified. It's still stock. It hasn't. The cams haven't been touched, or the heads haven't been touched. It's completely stock from the factory, and yeah, it has not been changed. Um, but I've put some bolt-ons around it, so it kind of makes the engine kind of kind of come more alive. So this is first. I got a KNN Typhoon intake, cold air. Um, this I like this intake. It's really good. I love it. It does make the engine breathe better and it kind of makes it kind of come out more like it makes it more alive it brings it out a bit makes it breathe so basically what this system is is that it just goes all the way down below the bumper so the pod filter the filter aspect of the thing is pretty much getting the cold air from the surface next I have a ultra racing strut bar which is at first I got it just for the look of it and rather than the actual usability of it now obviously if you have this by itself it's not going to do that much I'm telling you right now but if you have any other suspension parts which accompany this and pairs with this it actually does make your car feel much more better um, so at the start I only had this it didn't do that much but now because I have a rear sway bar with it it actually does help each other out in making the car more stiffer and more um, I guess handle better uh, secondly I've got a well actually thirdly I've got a Mugen oil cap um, it's on the, on the wrong way because when I try to twist it it only locked up into that position so that kind of looks funny but yeah um, so the motor is a K24 motor it's a great motor it has a lot of low end torque I like it it does produce okay power I think I'm right now I'm I'm going about 130 right now and yeah so it does produce a bit and you know I think it is, it is a very underestimated motor because a lot of people say okay yeah on the paper it says it's about 118 but I've done some mods to it to get to about 130 um, and you know what I think it actually is more than that it's actually very underestimated and you feel like the motor actually does pack more of a punch than what it is um, so, what else am I going to do? Um, I'm looking maybe into getting a new intake manifold for the car. Maybe getting a T TSX one, because I've heard that one actually apparently makes the car breathe better and supposedly gives you a bit more power or maybe access to a more broader power range. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the motor. It's nothing that, that special. Um, oh yeah, and I've got a little progress sticker here. I think that even counts. So yeah guys, that's pretty much the car in its entirety. Um, yeah, I think I pretty much showed you everything. Was, if there's anything that I kind of left out, uh, it was probably not that big anyways of deal to even include into the video. So yeah, it, it, it's pretty much that's the car, that's the video of it. And yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video of the, up, um, of the stuff I've done to it. And things like that. Obviously, it's not as much as other people, but I've done. I've spent quite a fair few of my own money in getting these parts, and I've enjoyed the parts I've done to it. And obviously, we're not we're not done yet. We're gonna obviously do some more to it. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, appreciate it. like, share, comment, and subscribe. Pop life out. Stay frosty.